Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here bringing you another everyday office video and in today's video I want to demonstrate how some custom number formatting and the text function can work really nicely when you're doing charting and other displays of content. So in this example here you can see that I've built myself a little dynamic chart where if I choose a different region, let's say I switch from the mid-Atlantic region to the southeast region, you can see that this chart updates. I probably want to have a dynamic title up here that says this is the southeastern region standard customers. And down here, I probably want to highlight the biggest value that Roberts and Ford with a contract of $35,000 is our biggest contract in this region for this type of customer. Now, should be relatively easy to go to cell G2 up here and use a simple concatenation method using the ampersand. So equal sign, and then I'm going to do, uh, let's go with the region right over here, ampersand, and then in quotation marks here, I'll put in a semicolon and a space, and then another ampersand and the southeastern region, and then another ampersand, and then I'll do quote space slash slash space quote, something like that. So then I show the customer type next, so that's another ampersand customer type, ampersand colon ampersand standard and so just like that I have region southeast customer type standard for example and let's just go ahead and stretch this out a bit so that it gives it enough space And so now, as I switch from the southeastern region to the northeastern region, for example, I can see region northeast customer type standard, and that updates regularly, and that's a very simple little method using the ampersand every time I want a new piece of information. What the region is, northeast, what the customer type is, standard. However, when we get down here and we want to say that Bevins Tharp has the largest contract at $58,000, um, a couple of things happen here. First, um, when I decide that the customer Bevins Tharp uh, has the contract size, I'm going to notice that even the formatting that's here isn't going to come over. Let's go ahead and demonstrate. So equal sign, the customer name right here, ampersand, we'll do a little colon, and then an ampersand and put in the largest contract of $58,500. So Bevins Tharp colon, and then you see right there, it's a very ugly plain 58,500, right? This is because whenever you bring in a piece of information through this concatenation, we bring it in without its number formatting. And this gets really bad when you wanna bring in when the contract was signed. So we'll do equal sign, uh, signed, We'll do quotation marks, signed, colon, space, and then append when the contract was signed. And again, here you see it was signed on 42,973 because that's the raw number value of the date that we're talking about. So in both of these examples, we need to use custom number formatting. Custom number formatting comes in when you choose something like a date or a number, and we decide what type of formatting to use, whether it's a short date or a long date, or something we make up off the top of our heads. Unfortunately, we can't just format this cell and say it should be a date or a dollar value or whatever, because it contains both text and the number information. So how we handle this is as follows. Instead of appending just what's in cell B6, we use a function called text. Then the text function says, give me the value that you're interested in. And so again, that's cell B6, $58,500. And then after the comma, we decide how we want that portrayed. And so here, what we're going to do is put in quotation marks, and I'm going to put in a very specific number formatting. I'm going to put in a dollar sign, a space, 0.0, .0 comma, space, the letter K, close quotes, close parentheses. And as you can see there, Bevins Tharp 58.5K instead of 
you know, 58500. Or in the same way, if I go here, instead of appending just D6, I use the text function, I bring in the date, the contract signed, and let's say I want to do something really interesting. I'll do quotation marks, and I'll say it's uh, MMMM, so it's the full month written out space, YYYY, close quotation marks, close parentheses. And just like that, it's signed in August of 2017 instead of signed 8-26-2017 or worse, 42,957 or whatever the number was. So when we're concatenating content in that has number values, even if those number values seem like they're text in the case of dates, the text function can allow us to format that in whatever way we see fit.